안녕하세요 친구들 한 주간 또 평안히 잘 지냈나요? 오늘도 하나님 앞에 예배드리기 위해 모니터 앞에 모인 우리 친구들 주님의 이름으로 사랑하고 환영합니다 오늘 또 선생님이랑 같이 신나게 율동하면서 하나님께서 기뻐 받으시는 예배 드리는 이 시간 됐으면 좋겠습니다 자, 선생님이랑 같이 기도하고 우리 예배 시작하겠습니다 다 같이 두손 모으고 눈 감고 기도하시겠습니다 사랑해 하나님 감사드립니다 지난 한 주간도 우리 친구들과 함께 하시고 오늘 이렇게 거룩한 주일을 기억하여 하나님 앞에 나와 예배드리게 하시니 너무나도 감사드립니다 어, 방학을 보내고 있는 우리 친구들 하나님께서 더욱더 즐겁고 행복한 시간들 보내게 하시고 날마다 건강도 지켜주시고 우리 친구들 함께 모여 예배드리는 그 시간까지 날마다 붙들어 주시옵소서 오늘 하나님께 예배드리는 이 시간 하나님께서 저희들의 예배를 기쁘게 받으시길 간절히 소망합니다 우리 친구들 예배 가운데 하나님 만나고 돌아갈 수 있게 함께 하여 주시옵소서 감사드리며 예수님의 이름으로 기도합니다 아멘 
It is really nice to be with you again. Let's put our hands together and talk to God in prayer. Dear Father God, thank you for this day. We are gathered here today to learn more about you through your word. Please help us to understand what we are hearing and help us to have a faith in your teachings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, let's go over the big picture question and answer it together. What is our mission as Christians? Our mission is to make disciples of all nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Our special job given by God is to go all over the world and tell the people about Jesus because Jesus is the only way to God. In the Bible, Jesus says, I am the way. God has taught us that Jesus is the truth and Jesus is the life. No one comes to God the Father except through Jesus. So Jesus told his followers to preach the gospel to all the people of the world. Today, we will talk about Paul and Barnabas, two followers of Jesus, traveling to many cities to tell the people about Jesus just as Jesus commanded them. This story comes from the New Testament book of Acts chapters 13 and 14. We'll read Acts 14, 21 together. After they had preached the gospel in that town and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, to Iconium, and to Antioch. Here is the story point for today. Paul and Barnabas told Jews and Gentiles about Jesus. A Gentile is someone who is not a Jew. So when Paul and Barnabas told the Jews and Gentiles about Jesus, it means that they shared the good news of Jesus with all kinds of people, regardless of their languages, cultures, or nations. When Paul and Barnabas were worshiping God with the Christians at the church in Antioch and teaching them about Jesus, the Holy Spirit spoke, I have a special job for Paul and Barnabas to do. 
the Christians there put their hands on Paul and Barnabas and prayed for them. After that, they took a long trip to places that they had never been before in order to tell others the good news of Jesus. This trip is often called Paul's first missionary journey. A missionary is someone who obeys God's call to go and tell others what God had done for people through his son Jesus. Paul and Barnabas were sent out as missionaries. They traveled through several cities and all over the island of Cyprus. Everywhere they went, they proclaimed that God loved the world so much, He sent His Son Jesus. Jesus took our place on the cross and paid the price for our sins. So anyone who believes in Him will have an eternal life. Some people believed Jesus as their savior and became a part of God's family. Some rejected the truth about Jesus. There were hard times on their missionary journey. In some places, people got angry at Paul and Barnabas and beat them up and drew them out of the city. But they had the Holy Spirit with them the whole time. The Holy Spirit gave them the power to keep on going and the Holy Spirit gave them the power to do amazing things. For example, when they went to the city of Lystra, they healed a man who had not been able to walk his whole life. When the people saw this miracle, they began worshiping Paul and Barnabas as gods. They tore their clothes and shouted, No, please don't worship us. We are not gods. We are humans just like you. We came here to tell you the good news of the true God. They traveled mile after mile, told the people about Jesus. Many people believed and became followers of Jesus. Paul and Barnabas returned to the church at Antioch and reported everything that God had done through them on their trip. Christ's Connection says, Many people rejected the good news about Jesus, but God had a plan for Paul to share the gospel with the Gentiles no matter what troubles he faced. Many believed in Jesus, the church grew, and the gospel spread so that people all over the world could be saved from their sin by trusting in Jesus. Let's read our memory verse together. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 19 to 20. God is the God of all creation. Therefore, God wants people of every nation to come to faith in Jesus. It doesn't matter what people look like, what language they speak, or where they live. And before people can come to faith in Jesus, they must hear about Him. So Jesus wants us to go and share His love and forgiveness with everyone. And He never lets us go alone, but promise that He will be with us all the time until the end of the age. Okay, let's take this time to bring our offering and give it to God. Your parents may drop off your offering at church or you can give it online. Okay, let's pray. Dear Father God, we give our offerings to you with joy. We thank you for loving us as we are. We thank you for the Holy Spirit leading us to Jesus and leading us in the way you have called us to go. Father, please go with us into the world as we serve you and fill us with your love and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's end our service with a reciting the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a great week and I will see you next time. 